Hi everyone, it's Wes. So right now I'm going to review the Guju Doc Stylus for the iPad. Now when it comes to writing on an iPad, it has a lot of advantages than just writing on a piece of paper with your pen. The first advantage is the pages don't run out. Whether you're writing a lot of notes or anything else, you always have the peace of mind that you won't run out of pages. Same thing with the ink of your pen. Now this stylus doesn't have any ink, of course, so you don't have anything to worry about with this stylus. You can still use this for quite a long time. You don't have to buy every single time the ink depletes like with a regular pen. The next advantage is when you already have a lot of notes on your iPad, you can just search them and the iPad will find that note for you. So if I'm going to search for hi or hello note, it will search that page and you can just tap it and directly go into that page which is very convenient whenever you want to search for a note or something. Now the next thing that you can do with this Guju Doc Stylus is you can draw with this. Now this is not like the original Apple Pencil that has a pressure sensitive or a tilt sensitivity but you can still draw with it anyways. The next one is navigating the iPad with your stylus. Now you can also do the things that your finger can do, except when you wanna show the dock or go to the multitasking page or go to the home screen, you just gotta do it with your finger. But other than that, you can still use the stylus to do some precise editing where you, can, you can't just do it with your regular finger, that you have to use something that has more precise tip to do whatever you want to do with your current workflow. Now when it comes to writing and navigating with your Guju Doc Stylus, um, you won't have any problems with this because the latency that it has is just the same with the original Apple Pencil. Now when it comes to features, it just lacks the tilt functionality and the pressure sensitive, which personally I don't really care about it anyways. And the last one is the battery life. You won't have any problems with the battery life of this Guju Doc Stylus. 10th gen because I can use this for a single week without any charge. I can just charge this every Sunday and for the whole week I can just use this for taking notes, taking screenshots and I have no worries about it depleting the battery while I am doing something important because the battery can last for a whole week and it charges via USB type C which is nice. So should you buy this Guju Doc 10th gen stylus? If you have an iPad, of course, <laughs> I highly encourage you to buy this because this is going to be worth the purchase if your iPad supports Apple Pencil. This Guju Doc Stylus just costs for around $14 or 700 pesos, which is not bad compared to the Apple Pencil that costs for around $100 or even more. So if you have the money to buy this very great deal product, then this is worth the purchase. But on the other hand, this is just a more expensive replacement to the regular pen and paper. So if your purpose of buying this is for just writing or drawing and you can already do those things with your regular pencil or pen and paper, this is still worth the price. So like this video if you like it, sub if you haven't already, and see you all next week. Have a great day.